Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick outlook tip of the day. This tip ain't going to be quick though. It's going to be a long one because there's a lot of problems with this error. Today we're going to be talking about Outlook cannot log on. And if you've been uh, checking out the blogs on the internet, you're going to find that my blog from callthatgirl.biz ranks really high because I've been having this error out there on the internet for maybe six, seven months now and it keeps changing. And there's no resolution to it. So unfortunately, there's a lot of different fixes for you folks. And I'm going to talk you through them all today. So get out a piece of paper, take some notes. I'll also have the link to my blog that I do keep updated, by the way, since August last year. There's a lot of good tips in there. So let's get started. The first uh, reason that you're probably looking this up is because you're getting the error. Outlook cannot log on, verify you are connected to the network, and you're using the proper server and mailbox name. This is a, a common error actually a lot of people are getting and the first thing you want to do is um, check what version of Outlook you're using, okay? If you bought a subscription model to Office 365, you probably got 2016, which is the common one. But that, that version is still pretty buggy and it's difficult on a lot of different scales with Outlook problems. So if you're, if you're having that problem, there's a good chance you might have other problems. Not everybody does, but you might. So what I tell people is if you're having this problem, just save yourself some time and, and try to downgrade. So if you have Office 365 subscription, you can log into the Microsoft Store and you can go chat with the Microsoft people and tell them you're having this error and they will downgrade you. Now, if they give you any resistance, they, they might try to remote in and run their diagnostics tool, which is fine, and let them do that because you're paying for their service, right? And they will do that for free, and they'll fix it, but I'll let you know that if they run their tool and fix it, you still might have other problems, which can happen later. Outlook 2016 has problems, and I, I get hired every day to fix this stuff. So this error here, you can have them do it. There is a diagnostic uh, tool I'll put in the chat that I've never used, but I know that other people have, and it works. Or downgrade, which is my favorite answer. The reason why you might want to downgrade is because Exchange, um, you could only do the auto setup with uh, Outlook in the 2016. There's no more manual setup. You can put in your name, email, password, and what it does is uses um, what's called auto discover, which is settings on your website control panel that have to be set up. So if you don't have that set up, you're never going to get that to take. But there is some like uh, registry hacks you can do and stuff like that. But to me, Again, that's more hassle. So let's start with, uh, again, going back. You can talk to Microsoft. They will remote in and fix it. Or you can downgrade the software, and that will then, of course, take Exchange because it usually does. Or you can manually set up Exchange. That's my first tip. Okay, now there's some other stuff you can do. Um, like I said, there's this diagnostics tool. I'll put that link in there as well. But let's say yet you're like, Lisa, I got to keep this 2016. So let's try some other troubleshooting. Now, if you already had a profile working in 2016 and this is now coming up, your old profile is probably out the door gone, okay? Profiles break real easy in 16. So what you want to do is go into the control panel, go to mail, and try a new profile. Now, if that profile won't let you set up, then you got more problems, right? So if you want to, you can go to the old profile and try turning off the cache to see if your profile will open then, but that probably won't work. You can also go into the app data folder of Outlook and that is a hidden view most of the time in your computer and I'll put a link to where it should be. But um, Outlook, uh, excuse me, when you set up Exchange and Outlook, it likes to hide these folders from the common person. Technicians know where it is. But uh, you have to go and check those OST files and Exchange, when it's trying to set up an Outlook, will set up uh, an OST, uh, excuse me, an OST file That'll be 265K when it first starts it. And now if you see one with 16,464K, that's corrupted. I will let you know. I've seen that enough. So you just want to yank those two out of there, delete them or remove them because they don't have any good data in them. I can tell you that. And then try a new profile in Outlook because if the new profile works, those will conflict with it and you have to remove them. It always does. Always does. Okay, so you can try turning off the cache in the old profile. If that doesn't work, you can make a new profile. I'm reading my blog here. And uh, another thing that happens is um, Outlook 2007. Big problem. It conflicts with 2016. So if you have ever had 2007 on your computer, you're going to need to have that removed. Probably run a registry cleaner after that. Reboot. 
then go reinstall Office 2016. So if you had 2016 and 2007, just um, uninstall both of them, register clean, reboot, reinstall it, see if that helps. That should help it. Another thing is uh, you can also try uh, cleaning up your Windows credentials. A lot of people don't know about this. It's in your control panel under credentials. Exchange might be in there from an old Exchange account that might be causing that. I have uh, cleaned that up and that's helped that error go away as well. And let's see what else. Um, there's some registry hacks, which I do not recommend. I don't even like hacking the registry, editing the registry. But if this comes down to it, there is, um, excuse me, some H key key user software in there. You can delete the old versions of Outlook. Like I said, do this safely. Be gentle because you don't want to ruin your computer over this. Okay, It's not worth it. But you can also do some registry hacks. That's kind of it, folks. Also, just remember that you have to have Auto Exchange set up in your uh, your your control panel for your website to get that to take, and that's the biggest thing people don't know about. All right, if you need my help with any of this stuff, you can uh, email me Lisa at callthatgirl.biz. You can call me at six one two eight six five four four seven five. There's going to be notes in the bottom. If you like this video, please share it, like it, and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you later.